What is a bogan? Generally have a mullet or skinhead, it's kind of one extreme or the other. Uh, black shirt, black jeans, normally steel cap boots. Bogans aren't something dreamed up by a skinny advertising kid. They're real. They probably just fixed your plumbing or at least your car. <laughs> you blew up the engine and caught on fire and everything. <laughs> so who are they? And what makes them tick? Yeah. Find out as Dr. Dave takes us on a guided tour. <laughs> Along with bogan buddy Fro. The small but perky Kate mate. And motoring enthusiast Anton. Tonight, open bonnet surgery, country style. Turn it off. <laughs> Dave gets inked. Have you ever been shaved by another man? Kate and Julia get their skates on. <laughs> and a one-eyed shootout. There's something strangely satisfying about that. The Waikato, ground zero of the dairy boom. The smell of silage hangs on the breeze like God just had a vom. But down here on Fonterra Firma, it's not all cows and milk payouts. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Inside this farm shed, Anton is about to perform an operation to be attempted by only the most experienced bogan. We're doing a burnout on this today because I kind of wrecked the motor doing a burnout last week. So, you know, it's going to come out anyway, so might as well have a bit of fun before it happens. This Nissan engine's days are numbered, and Anton knows this thanks to his acute petrol head hearing. The bit where it sounds like there's two midgets having a hammer fight in there, that's not meant to happen. 90% certain it's a big end bearing on the Conrod, on the main crankshaft of the motor. And um, once they start going, it's curtains for the motor pretty quickly. In other words, it's stuffed. So for today's procedure, Anton has enlisted the help of two highly capable surgeons. Mates Ryan... You all right? Yep. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> And 19-year-old chief supporter, Maya. My main interests are hunting, vehicles, just being outdoors, really. Maya and Ryan are what's known as rural bogans. A breed not dissimilar to a city bogan, but with more room for wrecked cars and burnouts that won't annoy the neighbours. This piece of concrete here is my burnout pad. You sit your car on it, and you can sit there doing a burnout. Pretty much you smoke your tyres up and keep going until either you want to stop or either the motor gives out or your tyres pop. I don't know what it is about it, but the adrenaline rush of doing a burnout, um, just the whole thing of getting smoke. Anton's bringing the smoke right now. He's about to create some by sacrificing his Nissan on the concrete altar of the burnout pad. Yep. <laughs> I think the clutch is... Hamilton beauty therapist Kate Mate and her sometime tag-along Julia have something out of the ordinary planned for this Friday evening. Why did I sign up for this? <laughs> oh, my God. This is your deal, not mine. <laughs> Concerned about the cumulative effects of daily bourbons on their waistlines, Kate's jacked up a date at the local skating rink to have a go at roller derby. So oh, yeah. oh my god, no one said there was going to be cock and balls here. <laughs> I have no idea what to expect. Pretty hardcore sport where bitches just go out and roll each other up, really. Roller derby may involve very assertive women, but it also involves skill and stamina. How are you? I'm Shannon. Kate, nice Kate. to meet you. I'm How Julia. Are you? Nice to meet Julia. How are you? <laughs> Good, thanks. How's it going? And the girls are getting a lesson from one of the best. Shannon, better known as Master Grief. We're going to teach you some skating today. Yes, yeah, yeah. that'll be good because I've never skated before in my life. Roller derby is a rapidly growing fun sport and tonight the rink's been booked out by the Helmilton Roller Ghouls. Roller derby is predominantly female but lately there's been men's leagues popping up everywhere which is really cool. It is a contact sport on roller skates and it's sort of like a race crossed with rugby around the track. Yeah, well, old Kate mate here reckons, can you come along? I need some moral support. You know, I need to empty a couple more vessels before we get this <laughs> shit rolling, because 
<laughs> I was not prepared for this. I don't do any exercise. You're ruthless though. I'm a bit psycho. She is. But I've got no strength. I mean, I paint for a living. What are you going to get out of that, you know? <laughs> she's tough, she's tough. I've seen her fight a few bitches. No, and guys, and guys. Yeah, but, yeah. I'm not very tough, you know. I'm not a very violent person. <laughs> It's all right, I got this, I got this. Do shit, I don't yeah? feel so bad. Let's, do it. Let's get amongst right, it. Get up, okay. <laughs> Bogan academic researcher Dr. Dave Snell has been nursing a five day hangover. See you Monday, man. <laughs> Following his friend Fro's Bogan birthday bash the previous weekend, this is one of the last things he remembers. Along with this, and most alarmingly, this. Hey, we're talking about selfies, and I'm like, I'll run down and do a selfie tattoo. So here we go. Let's still do something. Bang. Stick man, horse and jockey. She's like, what's the pitchfork for? I'm like, that's the fucking winning post. With visions of sugar plums dancing in his head for a whole week, Dave has decided it's high time that he too got some fresh ink. So just uh, finishing work. Gonna head out to Morrinsville uh, to get a tattoo at Famous Dave's on the main street. So Morrinsville's a, one of the little satellite towns that kind of surround Hamilton. It's roughly about half an hour drive away. Um, I like to think that all these little towns almost have their own little bogan factory that sort of um, turns out these bogans that end up in Hamilton because, yeah, a lot of bogans in Hamilton are originally from Morrinsville or, or maybe Te Aumudu. No time to go home and get changed. Gotta get changed in the car. Every bogan worth his salty snacks knows that a car operating at full capacity also functions as a bedroom and walk-in wardrobe. Oh, this is more appropriate Morrinsville gear. Because it's Friday and Dave is technically still at work, major tax dollars have been spent funding a research assistant to accompany him to Morrinsville. Oi, you're making us late. Dude, I'm right here. In this case, it's his mate Fro. Bitch, 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 bitch. Coming up, hell hath no fury like a burnt out Nissan. The doc gets inked. So tell me, what's in the pipe? <laughs> and Kate and Julia's ring of fire. Hey, look at it go, look at it. I'm so proud right now. Whoa, shit. <laughs> Too tight nah. for the tractor. So ready to go again? Back at the ranch, it's now burnout time. <laughs> to any bogan, this is truly a heavenly sound. And appropriately, the Nissan's dying breath soon makes the yard look like a bogan's heaven. With a touch of hellfire. Basically, one of the bits inside the motor is now outside of it. <laughs> 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 what did you even pin it, 8K? It started revving at 7 and I was like, oh, she's going to go soon. <laughs> right up there, you can see the oil seeping out down there. <laughs> Don't stand on Conrod. <laughs> just pop the Conrod out. <laughs> That's what used to be in the engine. It's a classic scorched earth approach to engine replacement. Anton, I think we're going to change the motor now. That was beautiful, that really was. We'll wait for it to cool down and then pull the motor out and probably do a conversion to some other motor. It's just still boiling. We should probably get away from it because it could pop a radiator hose. With the engine now like Reactor 4 at Chernobyl, Anton and the boys take a moment to admire the remnants of their backyard alchemy. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. It's meant to be straight, and it's not. Dave and Fro are now later than ever, but finding a park in Morrinsville, even on a busy day, is no problem at all. I love it. You know, it's such a small town that they still haven't charged for parking yet. Yeah. I think that tattoos are part of bogan culture, but they're not a 
you don't have to have them to be a part of it. Just like the t-shirts or um, facial hair or hairstyles or whatever. Everybody's got tattoos. So there's probably priests and nuns out there with tattoos. I would not be surprised if there's some hip, cool pastor covered in tattoos out there. Yeah. You know, inking for the Lord. Oh. You don't need tattoos to be considered a bogan. Mm. Do you? You don't, do no, you? No, no, you don't. Um... But it sure helps. <laughs> and if you're going to get one, finding the right tattoo artist is critical. Hopefully, he's famous. Hey, man, how's it going? Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. I wish you can, but you... Oh, OK, we are good, right? <laughs> yeah. Hey, how you doing, mate? Good, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you ever been shaved by another man? <laughs> <laughs> so, Dave, what's the... Uh, what's the design all about, mate? Like, I finished my thesis, like, a couple of years ago, and I'd always planned, given that it was, like, four years of my life to, to do this really hard, stressful piece of work, um, that I would get some sort of tattoo to kind of commemorate it. To mark this milestone, Dave has worked out a self-portrait design, featuring a skeleton smoking a pipe, wearing a comfy jacket and pentagrammed tee. I've had a few bogans point out to me already that the, uh, the pentagram is the wrong way up, and that's intentional. One, because even though I'm an atheist, I still don't like the idea of a pentagram tattooed on me. Um, and also, I thought it was kind of funny that this figure is meant to be like Dr. Bogan, but he can't get a pentagram up the right way. All right, grab a seat, man. So tell me, what's in the pipe? <laughs> <laughs> Only tobacco in the pipe. <laughs> Actually, it would have been funny if he was blowing bubbles. Well, it's too late now. Old Sawbones is going to be puffing away on the hard stuff forevermore. Once famous Dave puts needle to skin, there's no going back. <laughs> Uh, so is there a line? You'll draw a line and say, no, nah, I'm not going not to tattoo that. Don't want to do that picture, or I'm not going to tattoo that part of the body? I don't know. I, <laughs> it may be childish, but I'd probably be uncomfortable getting too close to the, a certain part of the male anatomy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's a bit bogan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to get my dark wing duck tattoo somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Luckily, Dave's tattoo is situated well south of the border, and the needle point is completed without blushes. What do you reckon? I like yeah, it. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Mm. Stoked. Cool. <sighs> Give us a twirl, Dave. Give us a twirl. <laughs> Back at the skate rink, it's time for the girls to get some protection. What are we doing now? Uh, we have to get some padding first. Okay, so the first thing we have is some elbow pads. Alrighty. Look at it go, look at it. I'm so proud right now. Whoa, shit. Get all the way down. Yeah. And then just tip forward. Oh, yeah. See, you've got all these paddings on. It's like falling on clouds. So squat, knees are. <laughs> it's knees not apart. long before the evening suffers its first casualty. Julia has already had a guts full. Doing something like this in the middle of the day when you're not quite as chopped as what you want to be, I'm not keen for that, you know? After Kate's crash course, it's time for the real thing. Oh my God, I can't stop. Coming up, Bogan surgery. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. What actually f***? <laughs> One more roll for Kate. <laughs> And always blow on the pie. <laughs> At the farm, Anton's ute has gone up in smoke. <laughs> Anton, I think we're going to change the motor now. Maya peruses his property, sizing up potential donors for the Nissan. My Toyota Hilux push truck. It's a uh, 35-inch uh, Silverstones on it. Winch cage at the back. 2.8 Crusader motor, so it goes hard. Next we go to a Suzuki SJ410 with a Datsun 1200. 31-inch uh, tyres, roll caged, harnesses, pull bars. On Maya's farm, with its herd of steel cattle, you're more likely to see a burnout than a burn off. This is Myers paddock slash burnout car. It's got a few custom modifications, namely the windscreen and the Phallus Racing custom decals. And uh, I think Ryan can tell us what happened with the windscreen. Yeah, my face happened. 
I was doing commando rolls across the bonnet and accidentally broke it, and then Maya laughed and said it wasn't broken properly, so I did it eight more times. Yep. I was really drunk on moonshine and Cody's. Getting wrecked and wrecking cars, it looks like Anton has found a donor engine for his ute. Yep, it's a motor. Basically, is a heart transplant, you know. That one's broken, this one's good, the body's broken. Put the two together. Over at the shed, the boys begin the difficult transplant operation, and things are going swimmingly. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Now what? You... <laughs> <laughs> Don't put that on TV. Like, actually, <laughs> f*** the f***. <laughs> That's all I can say. You son of a motherless goat. Cable off. No one here really knows what a motherless goat is, but one thing Anton knows is why Nissans suck. Why would you put that piece of metal there, you retards? Oh, no, I've just thought of something else that might have gone wrong. What? The, um, spigot bearing may have seized on the input shaft because I've had that happen before. Hammer. <sighs> Big one. Fortunately, the boys have all the equipment they need to do the job. Maya, your tractor's got cancer. <laughs> Kick her in the guts, Gaza. Unfortunately, they're not professionals. That's why Ryan is happy to position his tractor to remove the engine, but only when he's cleared his messages. After a crash course, Kate's about to ride with the big girls. But at the moment, she can barely stand, and for once, it's got nothing to do with what she's been drinking. <laughs> How's it going? Good. 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 All right. Yeah. Standing. It's a good, good thing. Yeah. She's mastered standing for now, but what about pivoting and drilling? So what we're going to do is some endless pivot drills. Um, that means we're going to be skating in a nice big pack and everyone's going to take a turn at calling out some things to do, whether that's skating to the outside of the track, skating to the inside of the track, speeding up, slowing down, stopping, moving around to each other, OK? Um, so just try and follow the instructions. We'll try and take it easy on you. <laughs> Roller derby is a bit like the Tour de France. All right, skate forward. Not because everyone's on drugs, but because riding in formation is critical. If one goes down, it could be a case of dominoes. Or just one domino, as the case may be. Okay, I'm good. Jump on up again. <laughs> All right, skate. Single file line. Kate doesn't have much experience Single skating in a line, line, but she does know a conga line when she sees one. Hold on, if you need to. Are we going to move to the outside? What does that mean? Oh my god. <laughs> 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 Put your toe stops down. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Kate is a long way off joining the team, but she has learnt enough to stage a graceful exit. Sort of. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. You guys are impressive. Yeah. Welcome to come back next Sunday. <laughs> So hardcore, like so much harder than I thought it was going to be. Don't know how they do it. <laughs> oh, I need a drink. <laughs> so initially I thought that all these girls would be, you know, big, scary, butchy kind of bitches. Oh, okay. But to be honest, they're actually quite nice and they made it um, quite comfortable for me and then pushed me around too hard, so yeah. I think she did well. I'm not sure if she thinks she did well. I think that's a big thing, is the confidence. Has the taste of a more wholesome weekend been enough to tempt Kate away from the bogan life? Only time will tell. Let's go to the pub and have some shots. Oh, shot, <laughs> shot, 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 shot. <laughs> 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 Back at the farm, the boys are about to finally prize the engine from Anton's deceased Nissan. But it's not going quietly. Angle grinder. Ah, There's one way of knowing that you're working on a car, liberal amounts of swearing. 
<laughs> oh, it actually man. helps you work faster. It makes things come apart easier when you swear at it. Kick her in the guts and lift her up, mate. Oh, I'm just over this. <laughs> oh, you can't go up any further. Down. Down. The lifeless heart of this Nissan Navara has no further use. We won! Except possibly as a very inconvenient paperweight. <laughs> wow. She done exploded good. We got it out in the end. Thanks, boys. Are you a bear or 12? With the battle finally won, Anton has decided they should celebrate with some fresh watermelon. Jesus. <laughs> that was cool. Can I shoot a pie now? Always blow up the pie. <laughs> There's something strangely satisfying about that. Look at hot mints. <laughs> <laughs> we've got a fair few guns. We own a home kill business, so we've got pretty much well, every normal calibre you can find, um, right through from 22s to 270s, 308s. We've got heaps of shotguns as well. Maya is the first to admit chief supporters can be one-eyed. But you only need one good eye for a round of clay pie shooting. Yeah, that's so cool.